Good morning. morning. Thank you, John. Thank you for the songs this morning. Doesn't look like we have any guests this morning. The men's prayer will be tomorrow morning here at the building at 6.30. And I'm assuming ladies' class, you ladies will know if you're having it or not, I suppose. So, Shaking your head no, so I'm just in a lady class. Okay. On the back table, there's a sign-up sheet for the building cleaning. It looks like there's only been a couple spots filled, so if you would, please sign up if you have the time and the ability to, to help keep the building clean. And uh, we ask that uh, if you do sign up, please follow through. Uh, it's one of those things that we, we seem to struggle with sometimes. We put our names on there and then come and empty the trash right before we start where you have a lesson and then we head out the door. But uh, just thinking about that, I, I do some meetings over here on Friday nights and there's some, some people that use our buildings during the day over here. And, and what are we sending to our guests that use our facility and pay us rent if we don't give them a clean place to, to, to meet? So keep that in your thought when you sign up, please. Prayers of concerns. Pick up a bolt and there's quite a few prayers of concerns and prayers of praise on there and some other news that goes along with it. And Stacy and uh, some others really put some effort into putting that bullet out. So if you have time, pick one up, please. I don't know if I got anybody traveling, I think. I don't know of anybody, but if there is anybody traveling, you know people traveling. We'll keep them in your prayers. Mary's mom, the prayers to keep uh, to get her accepted into a full-time facility. And Mike was visit with me, uh, Arlo Julin, uh, a gentleman that he worked with years ago up at the, the Stratcom. Uh, he stayed in touch with him through Facebook, but Arlo's wife has passed away on New Year's Eve. We'll keep Arlo and his family in our prayers. And uh, something else, to listen to John's sermon today and the lessons and then some other things that are going on this time of year with the, just the changing and the way things are. And I know several people that have taken their own lives. And uh, don't be afraid what we've been given, the strength that we have in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our trace in God. Don't be afraid if you see somebody struggling just to reach out and ask them, just to give them a hand and ask if there's something you can do for them. Uh, I've learned that the hard way by not saying things to somebody and then and finding out later on, and it's, I wish I would have said something. And so, If you know someone, or even if you don't really know them, if you, if you just see somebody down, just, just sometimes it's just a happy, hey, hi, how you doing? Is there, can I help you? Turn somebody's life around. And then the other thing, as I was listening to John's lesson, and it's, it's come to me in a hard way, uh, don't talk about our blessings, don't talk about our gratitude, we need to show it. If we've been truly blessed, then show it. If I have to tell you how spiritual I am, then evidently I'm not giving you a very good example. If you don't see it in my gratitude, then I'm really not probably that grateful. So if we've been blessed and we truly know it, then we need to show it. Are there any other prayers or concerns? Praise? If not, let's go to our Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this church, your church. And as that little clip showed, it's hard to describe our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, but the indescribable is in our minds and he's in our hearts. And Father, as we go out into the world, this lesson that we've been given today and the lessons that we have in your word, may we have no fear. May we brazenly proclaim your word, what you've done in our lives, what you're doing in our lives, and what you will do in our lives. Your church cannot grow, Father, unless those of us that believe pass it on. Give us the strength, the courage that what you've given us to give to others. May this church in Nebraska City continue to flourish. May your kingdom grow. And may Jesus Christ be glorified. We thank you again, Father, for the, the love, the mercy, and the grace you've given to us through him. And the hope of serving you eternally in heaven. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.